Scout here, and we're going to be playing um, a new game. And Merry Christmas, everyone. But yeah, we're going to be playing Fable 2. Because Fable 1 kicked, kicked ass. Um, the only difference is if we can, I want to try to... I don't think we got a choice in the first one. And but so our story if we can, begins. Oh. But who is the hero of our tale? We can. We are going to be a layer -lay -lay. Then let her destiny unfold. A little lady. The music's nice. Power Stone Old Town, huh? Oh, I'll let this play out. Yeah, I've been incredibly stressed, so I kind of need this. That's gross. That? Oh, yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer what? the clover. Yeah. Oh, look, little sparrow. That's nasty. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine Damn. the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, <laughs> all by himself. <laughs> if only we could live there. Not gonna happen, buddy. What is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Follow the growing trail. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. The fuck? Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Bert. That filthy creep. I am sparrow. Oh, he's just a trader. Come I can't see anything past on. this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I, I like it. The land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now That's this awesome. is truly a marvel. Mm, that this was it. small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients. As used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle okay. three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no mm. such thing as magic. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. 
But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. Wait a minute. What? You... You really think it could be? Is that my sister from the first game? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for She's... a week. It's true. Listen to She's me, Rose. Like the old At the bandits. end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces. And maybe this could be all a right. way out of here after all. What all is right. there to lose, little sparrow? Come on. There must Get be someone box, around here who pass gold to do something. Right. Oi, kid. Come here a minute. Huh? What's up? Okay, hang on. I gotta never mind. Hello, Derek. <clears throat> lose something? My arrest warrants. Blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Yeah. Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. One gold for all five warrants. All right. <clears throat> and gold. Okay, would you just walk away now? No. Oh, I don't want to skip the dialogue. Deal. Okay. okay. Apparently, holding A is accept. I don't know why I said skip dialogue the whole day. That's weird. So, we'll look out for those warrants. But for now, with let's find some more money. Instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. What? <clears throat> What's up? Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This... Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only oh, I could a find camera. someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm, I only have one gold left. But you're right, I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just Hell to stand yeah. there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? All right. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, right. oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? Oh, but this could be fun. So how do we pose? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fucking beautiful. Wow. Oh. Wondrous. This thing's gonna be more popular than that box. Now, I just have to wait three here. months for the picture to developify, and I can start shelling it around. Oh, I can almost three months. smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Easy money for us. He's a bit scatty. Hope he's all right. Yeah. We got our first gold coin, though. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Move, motherfucker. Ha! You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey. Hey, what the hell are you doing? 
having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh, are you fucking serious? He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Taking him though. Hey, puppy, it's okay. No, oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. What the fuck was that? Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. I think the game just glitched out with the dog right there. It looked like his mouth extended to the floor. I'm not Come sure on, what Sparrow. I saw. Let's go. Did you just tell him he can't live with us? And we got four like good it. for it? Move, you little bastards. Looks like a warrant, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Ronnie rhymes with Ronnie rhymes with parse parsonist. Oh, he's an arsonist. Nineteen counts of setting a fire, <laughs> setting fire to public property, or an officer of the peace. Oh well, wow! We have our first woman. Where are you going? Come up here to talk to you. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, uh. that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid. Uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for All a All right, piece. dude. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those idiots Jesus. Really never can suffer. All right, all right. <clears throat> I'll pay you if you annihilate. Oh. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And you know? while you're breaking their hateful little heads what open, that? try not to break any of my stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll be careful. Uh -huh. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname mm. be off. Right, you can be good or you can be evil in this game. I always forget about that. I just, I can't be, I don't have it in my heart to be evil, man. I just don't. I just don't. Oh, okay. Like, no, wait, 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 wait. Rain. Got like a little oh, toy gun. Crap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this clip. Ah. So you're a dumbass. Let's get out of here. There you go. That was a massacre. No mercy for the oh. filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Yeah. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow, I didn't know you were so good at fighting. Yeah. Saved your ass, didn't I? We're really doing it. But you don't need a drink. Buy some food for a change. Hey, look at that, Betty. 
two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? Damn, they can dude. barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a Nick? proper beggar. Has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Uh -huh. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Don't agree with well, him. Let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. So yeah, that's not a bad idea. So you bring me back my bottle? Yes! No. Ugh, no. You'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Yerp. Alright. Let's find this magpie guy. I remember where this is. That must be I haven't played this game in Where's years, but I still remember this it, one. Sparrow, but don't wake him up. So what you gotta do is you gotta slowly, slowly a bottle of potent booze, roughly stippered with a scroll of paper. Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. Ah. Kinda wish we could take his hat. Let's anyway. Let's collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. Robbing from hobos. Apparently not back. evil. Out of friendship. <laughs> hey, the quadruplets are back. You've Jesus got Christ, booze. man. I can smell it. <clears throat> Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll yeah. give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Like, yeah, what are you talking yeah. about, sis? Kids, Jesus. Look out for the wagon. I don't think my sister's on Does a good uh, like course that? of action. Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. All right. Give me the wine. No, don't. Yeah, give yeah. it to me. Nope. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. One of them warrants. Yeah. All right. Leroy, unremarkable stone. Known alias Leroy. Ten fingers. Leroy, one nose. Leroy, two eyes. Leroy has hair. Leroy is alive. Wanted for suspicious. Wanted for suspicious though otherwise unremarkable behavior. What the fuck? I used to be an accountant. Don't drink, it'll ruin your life. <laughs> you admit it. Um, hmm. I guess I do. From this day forth, I shall stay sober and return to my career as a tax and pensions consultant. Oh, you poor man. Sure you don't want the bottle? That's well up. done. He probably saved his life. Puppy. There's that dog again. You helping us out, man? <clears throat> what? Alan Alliteration Altman. One in four. Breaking and entering. Breaking and smashing. Breaking and repeating. A repeatedly stomping upon. Breaking. Gluing back together. And trying to pass off as not ever have been broken in, in the first place. Wow. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, we can't keep. Take him home. Can we up the brightness? Oh, no, that's right. Come on, little sparrow. Can I not. There we go. Options, thank you. Video? We need to turn that game up. This shit was dark. <clears throat> that shit is not supposed to be that dark. I'm so sorry. 
We can fucking see things now, everybody. Wait, is that one right there? Yeah. Oh, dude. Andrew the Stammer M.M. M. Miller. Oh. Andrew the Stammer M.M. M. M. Miller. One for assault with a firearm. Stealing glances at a firearm. Whispering sweet nothings to a firearm. Proposal of marriage to a firearm. Hurling a firearm into public watering. Waterway and anger. Also one count of bubble in top. I only one more warrant left to find. Keep your eyes open. It's a bunch of fucking coffins. Is that a corpse? There's for sure something happened. That was a body. He may either be unconscious or dead. I'm not sure. Oh, see? Look. And this is why we turned that shit on. Nikki, the nickname Shame. Chalk. Cal Calmers? Known's alias is Nikki, the nickname Calmers. No real relation. One for assault with a deadly weapon. Assault with a potentially deadly weapon. Assault with a weapon. We can't believe it could possibly be deadly, but unfortunately it was. Wanted dead or Looks mortally like wounded. Warrant, it? That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. So stupid. <laughs> what? You fight like a hero or something. Stop right there, you little brats. Listen, creep. Want? I told you no this morning. <clears throat> Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're gonna give them to me, see? Mm. Otherwise, there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll nah, give you a gold right away. here. Save you to walk back. The warrants Run. are around here somewhere. Have you found them? Here they are, dude. Thanks. Oh, Derek. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. Hey, thank you, Derek. That should sort out this town. Scratch my ass. Now. Four gold coins. We just need one more. Yeah. Really, it's just right here. A few more than words can tell. Shh. I think Mother heard us. Oh shit. You again? I don't. Want you sniffing around my daughter? Now push off before I call the guards, you animal! Get in the house, Belinda, and clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no good delinquent Monty. Wow, all right. Hey, dude, you in trouble? Your mom giving you grief. Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin How to, to describe look over and talk it. to short people. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help this you. This is funny. Yes. You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like, like. We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Darling, run away with me. 
Like two doves we shall rise in love, gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss forever embracing in the clouds. <sighs> it's not bad. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't knock on the door and let's see who answers. Wait. <clears throat> what do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Go, 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 go. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. That must be Belinda. Hey, Belinda. Where's that money gone? Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I don't know. I guess some people's wishes do come true. Mm-hmm. We did it. We can buy the music box now. All right. Goodbye, Come on, old lady. Let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. You'll find Belinda at her mother's house. Belinda? What are you doing? Get back in the house! I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. Huh. What? I love you. No, you don't. He's poor. Oh, mother, you're such a What a bitch. That's why father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. That's what? awesome. No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little up. dove. Nothing? Just cold shoulder to him. Alright. Oh, there he is. Hey, you. Where go? Hello, children! Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Here you go. Very wise, little ones. Give me the box, I'll give you the gold. I don't know you, dude. Small box that trembles with energy at your touch. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. But let's do this. Chicken child. No. Kids over there just blowing raspberries. Oh, okay. Let's do this. I wish. I wish. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was Magic so shit's sure weird, this was dude. it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? Because it was sold by a crazy man. What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, awesome. fine. Welcome oh, hey, to our yeah. little paradise. I wish for him. Come on, Sparrow. Go to bed. Oh, sleepy time. <laughs> yeah, he sold somebody a mirror that only made him right. look beautiful Settle in the down. night. There's a nice uh, angry stray dog. Oh no. Quiet Who's boy. That? What okay. Do you want? 
I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. No shit. Come on, All right. Sarah, wake up. Let's go get some it's food. Right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Hmm. Oh. Go to the castle. I guess there's like three dudes here. Damn. It's weird. Let's go to the castle. Okay, were you actually going to the castle here? Dude couldn't show up him damn self. He sent his cards. Hmm. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young ladies. Hello, sir. If you'll Hello. follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Who is that? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Garth? Uh, <laughs> A man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been <laughs> in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours right. doing research. What does he research? Well, history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things hmm. relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader oh, in yeah. Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yeah. yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, Ooh. and we made a wish, and now we're here. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And yeah, do yeah. not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. I love the stained glass. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my anymore. lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who yeah. sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your... Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. Tell him. What did you wish for? To live in a castle like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild. Well, I'm working on something wonderful for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um. I promise it won't hurt you. Oh. Oh, that circle. You do? What's that? Ooh. Nothing to worry about. Whoa. Look what we did. It's shiny. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Oh. 
don't know. What are you? Wait. Uh, there's, there's something what here. What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? The fuck? This isn't what I wanted. But Dude. nothing must stand in my way. What do you mean? Don't. Don't you fucking kill a child, dude. That's a douchey thing to do. Are you serious? You murdered my fucking sister. I can't allow you to live either. I'm gonna I'm inhale sorry. you. Motherfucker. Oh, off the fucking roof. <laughs> Puppy. Death is no still alive. God damn. Poor kid. Oh, the blind woman. I guarantee. I think that's. A, I think that's the chick. Uh, I think that's our sister from the first game. I swear to God. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax Walker. that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the girl survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to her small, broken body. The girl awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. She reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take her first oh, yeah. steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the girl's pain turned to strength. Her grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted her every dream. Yeah, PTSD for real. Ah. Jesus, I'm stocky last. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. Like, that day has them. come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet oh. me by the gates when you're ready to leave. <clears throat> Collect your new equipment from chest by your kid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, collect your new equipment from the chest by your caravan. I love little caravans. This is the crossroads caravan. Just Where is as he it? was about to strike back. A deafening buzz I took him out of his senses, though not before he saw a swarm. <laughs> Someone needs to rid us of the hag. That man just say, never mind. Do we use crossbow? Take dog elixir, dog collar, spade. All right, <clears throat> we don't eat it. Um, I don't know what it even. Hey, it's Sparrow. How's it going? Ah, it's the young sparrow I see. Ready to take on the world. Are you? Hmm. You really can rest and stuff. Okay. This is your caravan. You can sleep for extra bonuses. And it will act as a material home if you marry. Oh, okay, okay. 
<clears throat> Rest for six hours. Find me more attractive after I sleep. Even though it looks like my eyes are going different directions. Uh. Need to interact with objects, persons that are glowing green. Purple highlight around person indicates friendly villager. Okay. When near, I'll get their attention with left trigger and then. Yeah. Now that oh, hang on. If I remember. Don't you hold it? Yeah. Fantastic as always. Oh, I did enjoy that. Yeah. That's what I thought. Can't believe how good that was. Pretty good. All expressions, oh, right? Bumper, okay. I like it. Well, well done. Oh, that's Do nice. That again. There we are. This villager is attracted to you. You can use flirt expression in social expressions and make them like you. Maybe even marry you. Use the stick thingy or the D-pad or access expression wheel for more options. Okay. Very nice. Got potential. Was rather good. Favorite thing. Pretty good. You mind if I copy your haircut? Yes, good, amazing. Placed somewhere in the lava. Perilous, what a foul air skirt! As he left the chamber. Ah, oh, did you grow up in Bower Lake? Hello, I'm a whittle. Let's go somewhere romantic for a change. Really what the fuck? Okay. Now come with me. Open the gate. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Theresa, okay. Take this. What you mean? Tomb seal. Strange dark seal which fits in the bower lake tomb. It is a board. powerful oh. artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Right. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal yeah. will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. All right. <sighs> Barking about. Oh. <clears throat> Dog barks, he found something. That's a good locator. Yeah. Rubber ball. As all dogs know, humans are ignorant as the true value of these precious items. Which they discard seemingly at random. According to ancient pet lore, the dog's deity, K9, killed his brother, Fable, to gain possession of the, his rubber ball. Holy shit! <clears throat> Alright. You can find books to train your dog. Alright. Hey, hey, we got a chest. Like, Fable gets Heidi with boxes. Need to start looking around. Moon ring. This ring changes the color, reflecting the wearer's moon. Except, expect it to be red most of the time due to your beloved's anger at receiving such a worthless ring. Uh, I guess. Yeah. 
Press A to hold. Okay. Straight up, just hold A to move faster. All right. Yeah, that looks cool. Just the fucking dude in the backdrop. Got a key? I remember these. Silver key. These rare keys can be used to open magical lock chests found all over the world. Each chest requires a certain number of keys to open it. So always be on the lookout for more. You never know what you'll find inside silver key chests. Alright. The old tomb. Find the chamber of fate. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. You're the good, water buddy. at the bottom will break your fall. Oh, you want me to just jump down this? Well, this is how she kills me and gets all my loot. Head first, even. Just. <laughs> okay. You? Anything in the water? There's not shit in the water. It, well, there's probably shit in the water, but there's no. You get what I'm saying. Nobody's clearly been here though. Oh yeah, there's bones. Giant beetles. It's like, can't I just pop these a little bit? Yeah. No the shit. And experience of the creatures that you kill. Good dog. Did not know they showed up all around me. Not until it was almost too late. Number that appears after you collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how that one works. Just don't know how to spin. Open. That worked. What you got for me? Children's health potion. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest way to say weak health potion. The water, no. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further. Boink. Oh, there is treasure. It's not treasure. I'm crazy. That's where they want me to go, yeah. Hello, Mr. Box. Are you going to eat me? Better than your rusty longsword. Rusty mace. Oh, wow, this is just a big fucking cudgel. Ow. Just 
gotta watch what's trying to come at you, and you gotta time it first. That's good, if that's the way they want me to go. It's over here. Rock. Beautiful rock. Just as outstanding. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's a dead person. This appears to be a page from an explorer's diary recording the details of an expedition into this cave. Third day, my hand is shaking from exhaustion. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> but I must remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. I have seen those a greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to take the treasure theirs, or make the treasure theirs. Perhaps it's time to make use of the poison. Well, I, don't, I think they found you out, buddy. Oh, Eric's letter. Uh, dearest Harriet, our voyage into the entrails of Bower Lake has taken a turn for the worse. I only hope survive. I only hope I survive to see daylight again. You're right about Brenda and Drake. They are selfish brutes, conspiring behind my back, plotting my murder so that they can keep the treasure to themselves. But fear not. My love, for I plan to poison their water supply while they sleep. Soon we shall be rich. Feverishly yours, Eric. That's fucking funny. Everybody poisoned each other, didn't they? Watch the third guy just be happy to be there. There is a third body. Man can only be pushed so far before he breaks. Five nights without sleep while those villains schemed behind my back. Losing a foot to a giant beetle. That never ending attack of hiccups. Well, it was worth it. For I have found it. Yes, the treasure is mine. Who knows the great hero who made this magic gem? All I know is either Brenda nor Jake will ever get their hands on it. I'm planning to poison them both tonight. Then I'm throwing the gen in, into the lake and poisoning myself too, just in case. Nobody makes a fool out of Drake Morton. Fucking idiots, all of you. Yep, just right there in the fucking lake, man. What was this treasure? Bewitching argument? This magical augment which will make you more attractive without the need surgery. Oh, okay. That's weird. A little weird. It's a sexy gem. It makes me beautiful. My diamonds be flashy. Blinded motherfuckers like blow blow. Like Looking around at the top, I'm like, this place is kind of fucking big. Oh. I'm like, why is it giving me that tutorial? Last one load. What the fuck is that? That's just a cliff. We gotta be careful about that. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. 
Yeah, no, I got that. I'm killing the Danny. Boink. We did it, everybody. We did it. Any ledges or anything? I don't know how to get up there though. There's a torch up there, I guess. That's it. Some beetles. Hmm. What the fuck is this? Hiya! I hit it with my shoulder. a glove. Open sesame. What the fuck is this? The end is almost nigh. This is a collection of predictions and doom mongerings from a mystic and soothsayer Arthur Dandelion. His more cryptic visions, such as the one about two brothers of little wit who shall release howling death upon a town of blood, which have invited speculation and much shrugging shoulders among the prophets. Oh, amongst his other prophecies is the one that foresees the invention of a machine that will aid cleaning of solid garments his m oh soiled garments his most famous warning is one that predicts the end of the world according to Danline it will not come suddenly but when but the ground shall shake and the paths shall erupt into the present in the most bloody manner though perhaps a strange being shall transform into a dragon and lay waste to all lives long before that happens. What do I know? This isn't an exact science or anything. Jesus Christ. Am I going to get hit by a dragon this game? <laughs> I don't need that. Oh, hey. Yeah. Ah, oh, you fucker. Ah, I see. What is it? Gold. Alright, I'll take the gold. I know there's more treasures. Heroes of Oakvale. This is one of many books written about heroes of Oakvale who defeated the dreaded Jack of Blades. Though there are many conflicting reports regarding the hero's life and his feats, all account that he wielded the legendary sword of Aeons against Jack and slew him twice, once in Jack's human state and again in the form of a dragon. Among his other accomplishments are his victory in the Witchwood Arena, the slaying of the White Balvering, and the freeing of the Prophets of Fire. That's right, I did all that. Though any official records of his possible offer Offspring would have been destroyed in the civil civilian act civilian attack on the Heroes Guild. It is believed that his bloodline continued and that one day a new hero will emerge to save It's me, holy shit. A rare book has the stain of time upon its pages. It tells of a fall of old kingdom in what many scholars believe is, was the cataclysm of its destruction. Tad spire it is said that the construction of the spire was ordered by the last archon and that it was to be a conduit for all the will in the world. The 
power it would command would be so great, reality itself might be shaped by anyone who could use it. One day, its completion, the Archon and enter the Spire and Kingdom subjects awaited. What would be his first wish, whatever that wish was, the outcome was never... Oh, the outcome was a wave of energy so vast it lay waste to the entire kingdom. Was this truly the Archon's wish to erase the corrupt world so that a fresh one might arise in its place? Oh shit, were the yeah, the angels turned to the devils. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Money bags. They call me Charlie Moneybag. Don't ever call me money. My boobas are money bags. Like <laughs> do, 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 walking down the gold trail. <sighs> Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. Right. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. I just read about it. Your blood is awakening. I have the blood of my You can now vodka. channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use right. will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the color's gate. All right, all right. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a lot here. Um... Shock stuns yeah. your enemies and blasts Begin them with, with lightning. The greater your speed, the faster you will be able to... Dextrous styles. Oh, yeah, let me roll around, please. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Go to fable2.com for information how to access the gold and item if your heroic ancestor left behind. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the colorless gate. That's fucking awesome. All right. Oh, made it out of there. Use your newfound ability to defeat. There we go. Uh, Make your way yeah. to Bowstone. I will meet you there. Alright. But we will have to do that next episode. So you guys have a good morning. Oh, oh, where? oh Good evening or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And as always, Scavenger Scout, we are signing out.